Hummingbird, social media, and you. If you've heard about the Google Hummingbird update, you're probably wondering if it's going to affect you well, to start with Hummingbird is not an update in the way Panda and Penguin were. Each of which was estimated to only have affected around 30% of sites. So it was easy for the majority of site owners to believe they were okay with what they were doing, unless of course they were one of the 30%, then they found their entire business tanking.no. Hummingbird is a new Google engine and not an update. Google has built a new engine for today's search needs, not those of 10 years ago. Their words, not mine. They've included some of the old stuff like Panda, affected 30% of results, Penguin, affected 30% of results, and Caffeine, poor quality content, duplicate content, over optimized pages, and manufactured links, as well as old content, will still cause problems. Hummingbird is about semantic search about understanding meaning and context. Instead of counting keywords, Google now looks for meaning, Hummingbird will affect 90% of search results, that's not the end of it though. This is the first major step along a different route for Google. Have you noticed how the search results look different? Have you noticed the knowledge graph box? Instead of just a list of sites and some ads, you sometimes get a box with info in it. Google is trying to answer your questions on their results page without sending you to a list of sites. I in fact, try searching for flights or hotels and the chances are you'll get a booking form so you can buy direct on the search results page. Want to buy something? More and more you can and will continue to be encouraged to stay on the results page to transact business or get an answer. I guess that all? No, Google has announced a change to its terms and conditions. Google.com slash intl slash and slash policy slash terms slash changes slash they are now going to allow advertisers to use reviews in their PPC campaigns on the display network. These reviews will include names and photos, unless a user explicitly sets their account to disallow this. Why are they doing this? Conspiracy theorists might say that it's to earn more money from AdWords. The longer a consumer stays on their properties, the more exposure they have to the ads. So Google could up the price or, at least, advertisers may do that by being willing to bid more. The question you have to ask yourself is this. If a consumer sees an ad that includes great reviews, names and photos of people they know and trust, and one without, which one do you think they'll click on? These are just the changes happening in Google. Not all the changes, just the ones in the news. Google also listens and has been doing so for some time. It listens to what people say about you online, and then they use what they hear to help rank your content. They also make changes to their algorithm, the software that decides your rank, and make around two changes per day. Some are to do with how results are displayed, like the local carousel with images. Others relate to internal admin. A lot though are tweaks to the algorithm and affect results, your results, depending on whether people are talking about you, your rank can change on a daily basis, that's not all though. If you are signed in when you search on Google, the results you see will be influenced by what your fiends do. This is why rank is, in many ways, irrelevant and why you should focus on being visible rather than where you rank in Google. How will this new search affect your business? Think of this. Google wants to keep searchers, who are also all consumers at some point, on Google for as long as they can. Even if it's just to answer a question, you have a web page that would answer that question. In the past, your page would probably have come to the top now, however, Google can scrape the answer from your site and present it on the search page. You no longer get a visitor to your site who can see all of your offerings nor respond to a compelling call to action. Your site may still be listed at the top of the page, but in today's instant gratification world, if the question is answered, why would they click further, search is fragmenting what? Yes, people are searching differently.
250 million people access Facebook with a phone, and 70 billion pieces of content are shared on Facebook each month now. While on Facebook, people can search for local businesses and products. Facebook knows who their friends are, what they say about local businesses, and using that info can slash will give results. Those results will be based on the answers to the anyone know query amongst other things. These results are likely to be trusted by users as they may see who in their friends and family lists have liked or commented. Internet marketing is now social. If you're one of those businesses that's avoided social media as something you don't need to do, you need to think again regardless of what you do. People are going to talk about you on social media. They will ask for and give recommendations about you. They will voice opinions, and some of those opinions may be less than flattering. If you are not talking to those people you leave it wide open for your competitors to do it. They don't have to trash you, they just have to pay attention to and talk with your customers. Who would you rather do business with someone who ignores you or someone who makes you feel valued by paying attention to you? Trust in an online world. Semantic search has begun the change that requires people and businesses to build trust with others. Trust is and will, continue to be the driving force behind interactions between people and businesses. Semantic search is going to create a more transparent web. If you want to be visible in Google and benefit from the inherent trust people having Google results, you're going to have to persuade Google to trust you. A Eurocent authorship Google wants to know who you area Eurocent content Google wants to know who owns the content A Eurocent influence Google tracks how much influence you have and with whom a Eurocent trust rank if Google doesn't trust you, rank is gone. If consumers don't trust you, your business is dead, you have to own your content by establishing your authorship. Google wants to know who wrote and owns content. Your content has to have value, a transaction if you will. Where you have taken time and made the effort to create content that is useful, interesting, and engaging, the consumer completes the transaction by doing one, all or some of the following. A Eurocent reading to Eurocent liking to Eurocent commenting to Eurocent sharing influence is how you affect others and can be measured in how many followers you have and how deeply they interact with your content. IT includes who you're influenced by, as well as who you influence. As you share and interact with people, you build a picture of who you are, as a person or a business. Every business, no matter its size, is constructed from the people involved in it. Both employees as well as customers, established businesses also have their company history and culture influencing how the business is perceived by others. Competitors will structure their own marketing to take advantage of your historical weaknesses. Customers will include that history in their buying decisions. New companies don't have the benefit or drawback of company history. Instead, they have the history of the people involved in the company. Influence is about connections, who and what you connect with who connects to you and values that connection. The internet has become a social web, a place where if you're to be really visible and successful, you have to establish your personal as well as professional space, dot a place where people can judge if you're to be trusted. The social web and semantic search are making it much more difficult for people to hide. This is a good thing. The internet has suffered from anonymity for too long. This coupled with the sheer amount of competing information has meant that trust has often been in short supply. How and where do you establish your trust rank? On social sites like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. On your blog, where you post interesting useful content, then share on your social media profiles. Google tracks comments on your blog posts, knows whether you interact with those people and whether they continue the discussion. Your influence is shown in both the two way relationships you nurture as well as how many likes comments, shares, and plus once your content generates, all of this is tied together by your authorship. So Google and everyone else knows what you say. Some questions to ask yourself, who do you want to connect with in your industry? What groups would be of use to you? What interests would they have? These are questions you need to answer regardless of whether you maintain your online presence or have someone else do it for you. Without your close cooperation, none of the things that need to happen can. Mm -hmm.